Hello my friends all over the world, wherever you are. William Poloniak here again from Whole Health Foundation. And today's juice I'm going to call Garden Delight because I went to my garden and I found a bunch of vegetables that need to be juiced. They're already ripe and ready to be consumed either in a salad or a juice. This is going to be mostly cucumber and carrot, but I have some other ingredients. I have French sorrel, a couple of beets, a golden bell pepper, some tomatoes, a little bit of celery, some ginger, and 125 grams of turmeric. So, I'm going to start the juice by juicing the greens first, and I'm going to juice the French sorrel first. Are you starting? All right, I'm going to start by putting some ice cubes in the feed tube because it's a very hot day today. My temperature is already up to 30 degrees centigrade, so we'll start with some ice cubes. I'll recycle that ice, and I'll start with some French sorrel greens. I'm going to start by putting some ice cubes in the feed tube because it's a very hot day today. My temperature is already up to 30 degrees centigrade, so we'll start with some ice cubes. And I'll start with some French sorrel greens. Are you starting? All right, I'm going to start by putting some ice cubes in the feed tube because very hot day today. My temperature is already up to 30 degrees centigrade, so we'll start with some ice cubes. I'll recycle that ice, and I'll start with some French sorrel greens. Anytime you do cucumbers, they're very watery, 
so you have to be very careful you don't get a wall back. So make sure you keep this covered. Next, we'll do the carrots. Now, before I do the rest of the carrots, I'm going to clean my grid because I can feel the motor straining a little bit. So I will scrape off the pulp from the grid. And I'm using the number two grid for carrots. Then we'll start again. I'm going to do two carrots at once because they're narrow and I can save a little time by do, doing two carrots at once. Normally you would put in the big end first. Continue with the carrots. And remember, you would normally put one at a time with the big end first, but I'm reversing them to get two at a time. I want to point out when you're down to your last produce, there's always a plug of produce in here. So you want to take a clump of pulp, put it in the feed tube, and force that last plug through so everything gets shredded properly. The next step will be to clean the feed tube, get all the pulp out of there, and mix the produce. Set that aside. Clean all the pulp off the cutter. Get as much of that produce out of the feed tube as I can. The next step is to mix all the produce so the greens mix with the carrots. Whenever there's carrots in the mix, you do not need to use bamboo liners because your carrot mix pulp will not stick to your cloth. So we'll rotate this in both directions to get a really good mix. Alright, I'm going to demonstrate my less work six cloth method. So when you're down to your last cloth, advance the press all the way. This goes forward, this goes over, and the spent cloth goes on top. The next set of two cloths goes in the press, centered left to right, front to back, all the way back, back it off a little bit. And if you have puddling in here, what you want to do is very carefully pour that into the container and continue. Now the first way to do your less work six cloth method is to put the spent pulp into the puddle of juice in the bowl, like I'm doing here. And then get a new set of cloths full of pulp. Hold it properly. Set it aside. And the next method is to not put the pulp in the bowl, but to put two scoops on top of the old pulp. Only two scoops to begin. Later this patty will be too thick and you only put one scoop. So when you're on your last cloth, you advance that all the way. Fold it into thirds. Flatten this down, that's very important. Pull this forward, that goes over. The spent cloths go on top and we continue. Centered left to right, front to back. All the way back, back it off a little bit. And what I'm going to do, because there's a puddle of juice in there, is I'm going to put this in the puddle to absorb the pulp and continue. Looks like my container's almost full, so I'm going to pour this into bottles. And if you'll notice, I'm only pouring it so there's 10% more left in the bottle to put some distilled water or filtered water. I use distilled water because I have a water distiller, but filtered water is okay. All right, I'm putting the last of my cloths in, but what I'm going to do to demonstrate how the Whole Health Foundation juicer with the premium bottom plate can make 10% more juice, I'm going to form the spent pulp into a ball. And I want you to watch my folding technique here. I'm going to fold this under two or three or four times into as tight a ball as possible. That's going to minimize slippage. And I'm pulling this into a tight ball. 
and I'm going to press it again to demonstrate how the Whole Health Foundation juicer makes over 10% more juice. That's it all the way. All right, I've repackaged all of the spent pulp into a tight ball, and I'm going to demonstrate how you can get over 10% more juice with the Whole Health Foundation premium model. All the way back, and I'm going to back that off as soon as I get a juice flow. I do not want this to go up too fast. There we go. We're going to back that off a little bit. And that's it a little bit more. And then all the way. Oh, a good accident because it demonstrates how this cloth this is about a 40 year old cloth and it burst after 40 years of being reused. This demonstrates how powerful the pressure is. So I'm going to continue as soon as I get rid of this with the other cloths. And remember this is tremendous pressure so have it centered left to right, front to back, all the way back, back it off a little bit. And you want this to go off slowly. It's not quite centered properly so I'm going to shift that to the left. There we go, all the way back. And as soon as we get a juice flow, I'm going to back that off. There we go. That's a little bit more. A little bit more. And then all the way. And so far we have four and a half ounces of juice. And remember with the premium bottom plate, you can leave this up for a minute or longer. It's ten and a half ounces. Fifteen ounces. Well, I'm not going to take time in this video to press the rest. I'm sure we'll get 16 ounces out of this. I'll set that back so it doesn't drip and pour this into the tray and into the bottles they'll go. All right, my friends, we got 12 bottles from this juicing session. And remember, one of these bottles was an extra 16 ounces that we got from the Whole Health Foundation Premium Juicer. So let's do a taste test. Delicious. I can taste the French sorrel and the garlic. Mostly cucumber and carrots with all those extra ingredients. If you'd like to contact me, my phone number is 760-753-0321. My email address is developtrust at cox.net and my webpage is wholehealthfound.com. See you in the next video. Delicious.